And what I'm going to do now is actually add some gestures. So you can see the hand. I don't really look too natural. It's because I didn't have finger tracking. And I did that because I wanted to show you how easy it is to do it here. All right, so I'm going to go to the motion, go to gestures. And we're going to go with hand. There's kind of like two folders. And then the, this gesture is actually a folder itself. So what I usually do for female is I'm just going to go do that. I'm going to go to gesture. And you're going to see that now we have a keyframe there. One, two, three, clap. Okay. And I can change that now to that. And as you can see, it's trying to transition it perfectly. Okay. So that's okay. And she points here and I did that specifically. Told you. And we have a hold. Actually, we have a sign. I told you, I don't. Okay, and then move it left a little. I told you. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. Right here. And before that, I'm going to do another one. And again, go ahead and mess around with this. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. That's where I want it pointed. So, I don't work for you anymore. It's a little bit late. I don't work for you anymore. Good. And this is going to bring it down and we go back to a no show post. I told you, I don't work for you anymore. Look, you have how many? And then whenever she says how many, we can do like a relaxed one. Look, you have how many agents? See that? 50. And then we'll go back to to another one. Just go back to a neutral. 50. Of course not. What did you do now? All right. We're just watching this here. Oh, yeah. And we can just change it around. If you want. Yeah. Yeah, I did some prelim work, then the project got axed. You gotta be kidding. Okay, and we'll just get another one again. Maybe a flat relaxed. You gotta be kidding. But why? Whenever she says why right there. But why? There. Okay, and that's it. That is our whole motion there. Alright, and like I said, you can one, spend a lot two, more time in here if three, you want to clean this up. Clap. So once that's over and you're okay. happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and control S. I'm going to twirl this down. I'm going to be exporting this now into an FBX so that we can import this, including the mesh, into Unreal Engine. And then we can retarget it into a meta human. Right? So to do that is actually fairly simple. I'm going to go to the collection clip right here. This is like a hidden gem right here. Go all the way right here. And then I'm going to export, export FBX. Now, I already have this set up, but just change it to Unreal. I'm going to change it to 30 FPS because if I go to 60 and then I drop it down in Unreal 30, it's going to be in slow motion. All right. As far as the range, we can just choose how far this is. I'm actually, let me just make sure. So this is like, let's just do 30, 3700 just to be safe. Range 1, 2, 3700. I'm not going to embed any textures, anything else, because all we want here really is the motion. Now you can do a live link, but for me, I always like to work on offline, meaning FBX imports. I'm going to click on these three dotted things right here. Make sure everything is good. And then we can embed an A post for Unreal. Okay. We can export this. Female. I clone. And we'll name her Elizabeth or something. 
Save. Okay. Now I'm going to go to Plugins, Plugins, Character Creator. I'm going to go to Get Tool for Unreal. I'm going to download the 4.27 one. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Open the file. Okay. This is going to install the auto setup for Unreal. Next, I accept. Sure. Just remember where that file path is. Okay, so auto setup 1.22. I'm going to copy these. And then I'm going to my project folder, which is the Relution series. It's called Alley. And I'm going to paste that here. When I'm going to open up the Unreal project now. And I can close this. And I can close this for now. Okay. Now this is our test map right here. So this is just a blank map that I have. And this is actually the character that's going to be playing that girl. She has hair. It's just the LOD is messed up right now. So I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name this Liza or Elizabeth. And you guessed it. We are going to be dragging and dropping that I clone character that we exported. So it's right here and I drag and drop it there. And since we installed the plugin, the auto setup, you're going to see that there's an icon here. Now make sure that it's here. Cause if not, you're not going to be able to see this pop up right here. Press okay. Standard shader is okay. As far as here, we don't want to create a, uh, we don't want to choose a skeleton because we wanted to create its own. Click on this. Now, if you don't see this, just drag, click on this right here. Turn this on and off, but you, I want that checked on. Scroll down. We're going to import animations and I'm going to set range. Now this is by default exported time. Change this to set range. And then remember how many frames you had. We had 37 frames that we exported out. So go ahead and do that here from iClone. Check that because I don't want it removing any keys at all. So I scroll down, make sure everything's good. And then the default sample rate, if that's not checked off, go ahead and check it off. If you're having problems, uncheck this and put 30, 60 right here or you, whatever you want. But for this uh, tutorial, this should work right here, the sample rate, default one. I'm going to go ahead and import all, and this is going to do its thing. All right, so I'm going to close this here. I'm going to save this now, save all. And now if we click on this right here, you're going to see... Boom, our animation. It even comes with the finger data that we did. Let's watch, she's gonna point here. See, awesome. Okay, so let's go transfer that motion to the meta human. To do that, I'm gonna go to this thing here again, and I'm gonna go to the skeleton and make this bigger. I'm going to change this to a humanoid, which is amazing. iClone already does this for you. Go to skeleton tree, options, retargeting options. All right, and we're going to do everything for the root and pelvis, but starting from the spine, we're going to scroll all the way down, shift, select, retarget to skeleton. Save. And this is already in the A post for Unreal, which is beautiful. I don't have to freaking retarget or anything like that. Now, what we're going to do next is go to the skeleton of Roxanne, go to body, go to the skeletal mesh skeleton, and we're going to do the same exact thing. Now you might not see everything as far as the look of it the same, but it's okay. As long as you follow this, you should be okay. All right. So starting with the spine, scroll down, shift, click, targeting skeleton, and we're going to change this to animation. Save. And then we're going to go to the retarget manager because we have to make sure that this is actually an A post as well. So if we go to character, go to bones, show all hierarchy, right? So you can see there's a jacked up finger right here, but we'll fix that. I'm going to do the modify post, click none. And they actually have a preset here for retarget. And it's called, I'm going to do the female one, import. 
and that's going to fix that a post modify use current save and now we are both in a pose for this character and this skeleton so the next thing we're going to do is drag and drop this here because it's going to need a preview mesh right click retarget anim duplicate click on the skeleton which is this girl's skeleton and then retarget it's going to compress the animation and that should be good save all right, I'm going to create a new level sequence to test this out. By default, it's fine. I'm going to drag Roxanne or Elizabeth, whatever her name is, into the sequencer. For the body, I'm going to track animation, temp motion. I'm going to delete the control rigs because we don't need that for now. Now, we should have her animating. I have 30 frames per second, so I'm going to stretch this out. Boom. Just like that, we transferred our XSense motion data, cleaned it up a little bit, and I cloned and added some finger movement. And it is fantastic. All right. So now that the body is done, we're going to have to do the face next.